on the other side. For Crew, it was very standard. It was very vanilla, if you will. But it's already aggressive. Out, out from NRG, denying all of this space, hey, main. Yeah, and they're going to have to be doing stuff like this with this double duelist composition on the defensive side because they're basically going to be starved for info. A lot of these rounds, their only initiator is basically the breach. Uh, and there's really no info gathering tools there at all. Yeah, you got the camera, you've got a breach. That's about it that you have for info. So you have to take space with the duelist, and it's going to be head to head right here. Ethan. Gosh, that armor well invested there. Only bought that up, and that was all he needed. He's able to clean up three Melser and Shy, keeping it close, keeping it tight and steady. Spike in the hands of the Omen. Victor on the prowl. Oh, he's surrounded. Uh oh. Oh, they know where he is now. Oh, no. Melser getting two. On the shoulders of Finesse. In a 1v2, he's got a ghost in hand, no armor. 30 seconds left. Camp's still up. Spike planted. Mouse are committing to the spike plant, shy. With the ghost. Finesse gets one. Can he deliver on the second? No. It's so unfortunate for Victor, who had him dead to rights with that stun. In the face of the Neon stun, yeah. And he should have been dead. What an obnoxious start to this match. NRG, they did so many good things in that pistol round and it just doesn't go their way that's Valorant in a nutshell got three rifles on the side of the attack and they're all creeping forward towards B crash he's the only one close by and he's got to imagine he's feeling a lot of this pressure now the paranoia comes out from garage they satchel out behind the dog the site is cleared it's theirs yeah it will be a free B site spike being planted right now and for NRG, it's how costly can you make this? And maybe if there's mistakes from the side of Crew Visa, they can bring it back and get it a thrifty round. I mean, we had an asinine amount of those yesterday. Yeah. We'll see if he continues that way. Victor tries dashing forward. MTA is there to greet him. Oh. One found. It's gotten messy, but it's still, maybe not comfortably, but it is still in the hands of Crew with the two rifles they have up. Both fall there at the hands of Mouser. He gets all three. Crew get their second. Yeah, some flashy gameplay from Melzer. Back to back. You can do fast hits. You can play extremely slow if you want. This is where I think we're going to see a lot of, well, a lot of what you want the Yoru to do in this comp is go make a play, get info, and then set up utility. Sometimes it's a breach stun, sometimes it's a paranoia, but that's that's the key to running this character. Yeah, super risky right there, but super confident was Ethan getting that kill off the utility from Crashies. That was a very early ultimate from Ethan. Those three kills that he got on the pistol round. It's amazing. Uh, and I think they're gonna continue to see things like that, right? They're gonna continue to try to make those little micro plays to give themselves a numbers advantage. Mm -hmm. And then you can rely on fundamentals to win out the 5v4s, to play around the map and yeah. execute accordingly. You're 100% right. And it's oftentimes the early round with these double duelist comps where it's the hardest to get value. Yep. And if you're able to keep getting the first blood like this, you set yourself up for success. I say that as Kaznit takes out Som. So now, there's a chance here, but Ethan... He had everything in front of him, but fortunately for him, Victor settles. seconds left. Three on the round for the Neon. Melser's left alone. He's got the spike in hand, but doesn't have a ton of options to play around him with. Four for Victor to close out the round. Right there. Some nice clean shots. No real chance for Crew to take him out there. What's the setup here? Crashies has his fault line of, of a little bit of info found from Ethan, and then they go fight? Yeah, and they're able to converge on mid as well, so it's like a double-pronged approach. Yeah. You can deal with the A default if there's one there, and then you can transition like this. Crashies, all he has to do is take a little 30-degree look to the right. Now you have a mid trap. They've got the trip set up for it, too. I mean, this is so gnarly. If they commit to this, mm -hmm. it's a massacre in mid. Yeah, I just feel like there's jump spots make it so obvious from the sure. side of NRG. Sure, sure. Satchel out. Crew still seem to be flirting with it. You imagine the satchel was intended to clear the trip. It may have gone a little wide, actually. That thing's still up. Yeah, this trip not breaking is going to be bad for Crew later in this round. It'll allow NRG not to have to worry about a mid lurk whatsoever. 
but it might not matter because if crew just five man into the a site here it's free yeah but remember crashy's on the other side still has that fault line up can still apply a little bit of pressure the problem is they've missed that timing window they're so far up now this crossfire might be enough. The paranoia is out. It delays for a little bit longer now. 30 seconds left in the round. 30 seconds Saw him up close. Has to take a step back. They bullied Ethan off of this too. Now striking, but it traded right back one for one. And finally, things tip back the way of crew. But Furness on the flank falls. Saw him in a 1v2. Kesnit weak, but shy healthy. If he plays his cards right, left. he might have a shot at this. He can force the matter. He can delay the plant, but it's wrapped on the other side. Shy completely destroys him. Yeah, he was weak, but that's three for the Viper. And again, if you are just joining us, crew, up two rounds. Energy have had a couple of cool ideas, but it really has been a little bit of the heroics off of, I mean, mainly two members on the side of crew that have kept them in the lead. We saw a little bit of early aggression from the defensive side, namely the pistol. We haven't really seen that since other than Ethan's ult round either. Yeah, and they're trying. It's just crew are doing a good job of playing a default very slowly, not getting caught out by any more traps. That's because they've been punished already. Ethan's up really close here. Yeah, Sting are so good from this range as well. But if it's a double swing, it should be a trade instantly for crew. He doesn't have a gate crash set up anywhere either. I wonder if it expired. It's been 40 Cover seconds into the round now. Yeah. He's gonna play in the smoke. It's just gonna go off of a timing here. Oh, is there a cam above him, actually? It just got cleared off of the flash. The swing is there. No punish, though. He gets tagged down pretty low, and the punish will come here shortly because that's all of mid gathered for free for the core hit squad of crew. Those players you see in heaven right now. This is a free A site right now. Ethan, he's gonna... Yeah, it might as well be, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's lucky if he gets one right now. 30 seconds Completely left. on his own. Oh my gosh. Nothing for health with the stinger in hand. And they've got to know he's close. I mean, maybe they assume he TPs. He got his one. That's all it was, but he dealt his damage. He got his. I mean, Meltzer's just waiting. They know exactly where they're going to be funneling in from. These are going to be some of the easiest kills. Vic popped his ult, only found one with it. And Psalm will fall. Crew get up to four. Yeah, easy follow-up for Heat. Beginning of the series, the op. Yeah. On the hands, when, when a Fnatic runs the comp, it's very impactful, it's very valuable. But it's not in the hands of Ethan, it's in Vic's hands. Yeah, and which is still okay, because you can take a shot here and run all the way across the map and probably beat the rotation of crew. But the IG yelling right now has been really good from the side of crew. And I don't know who to praise for it, because I've heard... Oh, that's a nice pick from Vic. Doesn't really need to meet, doesn't really need to move. That prompts a speed up from crew. But yeah, I haven't heard of a specific individual that's actually taken the reins for the side of crew. Yeah. Apparently it's a conglomerate. Yeah, it's all of them. A lot of discussion around who's doing it. Either way, it's working. So so be it. Look at that pit. Yeah, that's a great. Up pit. Swan a little bit too. So many different types of herbs on that one. Reaches a far distance, and right now, if you're shot, you just need to try to play your life, stay alive for as long as possible. Meanwhile, Kaznet popping the ult. You can tell that trigger was itching. Great delay, though. Oh! They've swapped things over. Now, Crashies has the off. The rocket will go off. Will not connect. And now, Energy can move forward with the fault line and the stun. They venture forth. But they're going to have to deal with the pit. They're going to have to find a way into this thing. And they've got a brutal crossfire. Melser in garage. Kaznet back sight. There's no way in. No time at all. It's all done. And Shy, he gets Last one there. All he had to do was tuck into screens and stay alive. And that's another round win for Crew Visa. Amongst all that chaos in heaven that was going on. Amongst Kesnit just taking the head off of three of the players of NRG. That was an insane reposition to secure the round win. Even if every, every, everybody drops, he would have won. I don't know if they saw Vic or not. I want to say they did. And you see the trap was set up. A shorty with a stinger over the shoulder. These little traps that they've been trying to set up, you know, we've talked about them a little bit. Haven't really found much success. Jeez. Crew are playing this to near perfection. Yeah, this is an absolute stomp right now on this attack side of Split. This is Crew. Crew Visa's map pick, though. And I, this is going to be another save. Yeah, FNS just drops. The free and no player. Melzer holding heaven. And now all left to Sam and MTA. What a round from him. This comp of crew because sometimes it's just a gamble on okay do we think that crew is going to walk into this space 
But they have so much info to find out if you're gonna do that. Kesnet might get taken out early here. Beautiful from Victor, but what is that trade? Usually Neons are able to get out, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's not supposed to go that way. That's absurd. I mean, you're so fast on the Neon. And he, I mean, honestly, he's been a little quiet this map so far, but he's been so good as an addition to the squad. Yeah, he, I mean, he, instantly, the moment that he joined this roster, they leveled up. They became, honestly, what, the top three in this sta in stage one in the top actual normal five, play? Five and one. Yeah. Up until that playoff where they met adversity. It's going to be a B split off of that entry. Som's able to punish onto the Lurk. Crashies has to take a step back, though. And now the Yoru ult has been popped. What's the setup on the other side of this? Going to get a little bit of info of the two remaining members. He and Melser leave both have been spotted. So they will know they're flipping back towards A. All of this Cypher utility is still up. 30 seconds left. Yeah, the flip is great. They do have a chance to get that spike planted. If FNS drops early here, Crew could have maybe brought that one back. Melzer gets tagged by the camera. Doesn't break it though, so it's still up. A lot of info still on the board for NRG spike right now. Planted. They have such heavy numbers. I mean, surely this round goes away of NRG. Heat's left in a 1v4. He managed to get the spike down, but he's stunned. He's blind. He's paranoid. He's dead. Psalm with 3 as NRG get their second. And there we go. That's the change. Playing to their advantage this time around. Not getting caught. Sleeping at the wheel after they're up numbers. That kill from Psalm on the you and then play around that. Maybe that's the key to the success. Yeah, seriously, because they've been losing the reactionary battle. As soon as they show their cards, crew are doing the correct responses. And even if the response isn't correct, they're firing at all cylinders right now. They can make it work regardless. Wow, my eyes are dumb. Info is gathered that there's multiple members in a ramp right now. That's going to cause a rotation of Som. Coming over as that omen. It may be a re-clear for NRG onto A Heaven. It's a deep smoke. I think while it, yeah, it just goes down. Now they can play around that. The timing on that's really nice. Yeah, the problem is last time they did this deep smoke, there was a bunch of members of NRG that were caught in the open by that paranoia, by that sky flash through it. And it looks like that's why there's a little bit more of a safer approach right now. If Som gets flashed by the sky, popping through here, he'll be able to dip back in his CT, and Ethan might be able to get a free kill from heaven. Skipping on the minimap as the second smoke fades away. Crew come out to play. There's the flash that you were mentioning. Som takes a step back. Closed. Ethan looking to strike. Does he have a flash? He does. And the paranoia is there as well. That's such a nice setup. Chai somehow stays alive. There is some more presence here from the crew side, including the spike. So determined in their approach to take A. You still have to deal with everything here. You also don't really have a ton of time to get away. As Ethan gets three on the round, 10 seconds left. The spike is in Melser's hands, but there's no way into the site. And RG, that was a sick setup. A good reaction based off of what crew showed previously when that omen smoke was in a heaven from them. Yeah. Yeah, maybe just having that rolling thunder for the retake. But this is aggression from Victor. It should be a kill. MTA gets caught lacking. This is the speed up. This is the reaction. Got you. But energy are playing for this, Doug. They have that breach ultimate still online. Victor has the hot hands for the retake. Case to the case Paranoia and Flash, they've gotten out on A. But you're right, this is where I imagine the Rolling Thunder comes through for Crashies. Big pops his ult. Those trips are still up as well, so... These members of crew might actually hit them on the exit here. Yeah, look at Heat in the open. One spotted, but Kessin is trying to get ahead of it, and that's gonna buy enough of a response and a delay! Crashies commits to it somehow, stays alive. Vic going forward as well. You've got Kesner who's trying to hold him back and spawn as best as he can, but he will fall at the feet of Crash. He's fit with three. NRG get another. They almost got disrupted on the retake. That rocket from Kesnit. If that could have taken out Crashies in that moment, maybe this this round goes differently. Maybe crew are able to position themselves better. From each other. Energy have won the last three. And now we're back to something a little bit more competitive. I mean, the buy from crew here is interesting to say the least. You've got three stingers and a guardian in the hands of the sky, no less. So 
Off shot rattles off. Som feeling some of the pressure. Shy tried falling behind the Trailblazer. Yeah. But the door was shut. Try taking the instant timing. That finesse. Trades out cages right now with MTA and B main. But this buys time for Victor, who started off in vents, took that op shot there to reposition into yeah. B main. I mean, they, this lurks up. the thing about this, the way this round is played out for energy is all of the delay utility that they had just made it to where crew couldn't strike fast. And honestly, when you think about the the weapons that they have, that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to get out quickly. They wanted to try to get up close with the singers mm -hmm. and punish. They were just never allowed that much space. That's a big shot out for me. That's a big one out from MTA at that distance. What? With a stinger? Did he did he scope in? It's the triple swing right here. Ethan can't settle, but he does get one. Crash is left in a 1v2. Heat's weak. MTA is as well. This all of a sudden gets notably more winnable for Crash. He's 30 seconds from having his fault line back up. You can't imagine that's going to be a part of the equation. Got plenty of armor, though. Waiting for the right moment to strike. Understands where both are. Snap onto the first is clean. The second's messy. Most impressive dodges of bullets I've ever seen on display. Not a time to think, not a ton of time to think much of that over. As we head into the last round of the half. Short term memory required here. Vic still with the op, trying to hold his aggressive angle. Spotting Kesnit on the satchel, but not able to connect the shot. Yeah, that's a tough. Yeah, it's, that's such a rough round to lose, I feel yep. like. That's, how do you bounce back from that? If anyone could do it, it, it would be crashing. All that experience under his belt. He's, he's been in this scenario before, okay. surely. Cutting or maybe he hasn't. Now here the defensive flip. Finesse has all of his utility towards B. Meanwhile, crew have tried exploring the middle of the map. Som's already fallen, but Victor, given his mobility, is able to get back over to B as quickly as he can. Ethan's gonna get a ton of info as to what's going on. The trips come through for Finesse. Shy just now left alone. He's been good, but I don't know about 1v4 good. Now his position given away. He tries to cover behind the orb, and he can't. NRG gets to five. Case, now that they're on attack, you imagine there will be a lot more of that. Yeah, how are they going to make this double duelist work on the attacking side? It should be better, though. But look at Crew already getting super proactive. Walking all the way down mid. They think it's a B hit right now, but it's actually everything geared up towards A. The spike is A. Crashies with the, gets punished by Kesnit. But it's all just a ruse. I mean, yeah, Vic is going to continue to push and to spawn and take space. The trip gives him away. They should be able to get the spike down, though. And now it's going to be a mad dash. But again, keep an eye on Vic and all of the members that he's going to be able to get. He gets two traded on the third. But now it's a 3v3. Yeah, with some disastrous post-plant positions for NRG, they can really put some damage on a crew in these spots right now. How do they keep them back? No paranoia to speak of for Som. Oh, they're playing to perfection right now, Doug. He's on site, and he's concealed his position oh. as long as he can. Every single kill for Meltzer's on the swing, but left in a 1v2 against Ethan and Finesse. Oh, Still death. have to get the defuse through. Not even it, gotten it to half yet. Patience from NRG. They take the pistol. And what a sick pistol round as well. Is to not keep holding W in that moment and just tucking there. He understood his role. Kesnit not able to find success with the Sheriff. If you're NRG here, just get through this as cleanly as you can. Crew have a full stack B. Yeah. That peak from Kesnit he dies early on, but it's almost like it's on purpose to Fake bait teleport. any more type of players of energy into B, thinking that it may be free. But and FNS right now, he's calling a very methodical anti-eco round. Just taking control of one area of the map, then you're able to go back, re-clear mid. You have a trip on A this whole time, so you don't really have to worry about it. This is what he is known for. That's how he's made a name for himself. But this time, he seems to be mid-rounding his way back into the stack. Yeah, when, and this is the problem with this composition. You have very limited info. They've got, they've done a really good job, considering how limited it actually is, but they, they are running into this stack right now.
But even then, you see how cautious they're being about it. Melser are spotted, and they know there's more to be had. Even if it gets a little messy, they played it as, as you mentioned, yeah. as cleanly as you possibly could have given the lack of information gathering. Yeah. Is it just FNS alone here on the Lurk? Or is there some follow-up players with him? Flash getting a little info in a main. Melser's up really close. Careful now. Victor gets ISO. He was so far up by himself. No real way to get any support. No real way to get any help. There was a fault line that was set up for him in A Heaven, but yeah, Melzer played completely ahead of that. That's how you have to play against the Breach. Poison's off. Yeah, I think it was tough too. It seemed like Vic was funneled out of that smoke because of the nade oh from Kesnit, so he had no choice but to go forward. Finesse had to go back and he was dead. The paranoia out, they knew exactly where Som is. Super confident was MTA and Kesnit. That duo, when you're playing with somebody, it can really change the way that you take your approaches on the defensive peaks. Finesse ahead of the smoke, the paranoia drawn out. Two stingers. The only rifle is in the hands of Ethan, who's been on a proper heater so far, and he does not seem to be slowing down. Shy and Melzer disposed of. And a weapon upgraded, that was a little close. Oh, that was almost disgusting. Crashies in a 1v3 now, has made it a 1v2, but no idea, no way to understand the Kaznitz on the wrap. MTA is playing his cards perfectly, and Crashies never saw him. Melzer. Sight. That was the bonus, though. Full buy from NRG. Crew have a judge in the hands of Shy, and it's pace towards A, but it's traded right back. They've kept things out. Heat playing down low. Nothing to clear. It's only getting worse. Kesnitz's nade causes so many problems. I mean, look at the health bars on the members of Crew or of NRG. Excuse me. Forget the judge. A snap like that, you won't miss. Ethan manages to get the spike down. But he's in such a miserable position. A dreadful spot to be in. His bullets whiz right by his head. He's ultimately cleaned up. The set utility right now from NRG. It's showing that they're just not on point right now. Yeah, winning this round would be great for NRG to yep. stay into this one. So what's the plan here? Ethan goes forward, tries to get as much info as he can, and then there's a fault line out. There it is, right on cue. Vic following behind him. The way has been paved, but no target has been found. Sight left vacant, Seeker's out now. There. And they continue to scale. Meanwhile, Finesse is in a world of hurt. He's been surrounded, spotted by the Seekers. Vic continues to push the pace. Two kills found. And now Finesse on the prowl. Can he find a timing? He might get timing himself right here by Melzer. He does. Shots finally connecting and settling, but Ethan tucked in hell. What a paranoia. Looking to bring people down with him. And he does get one. It's on the hands of Kevin. He gets a second. Continues to be a problem for Crew. But it's left in a 1v1. And Melzer's really far away from the play here. He's got to play this patiently, though. No real option otherwise. No utility to speak of. Yeah, he has a couple of TPs, but... Som with crosshair trained. Steady in the moment. Snaps on to Melzer and gets NRG their A. Would have had to hit some nice classic shots if Crew was just a little bit more patient. Oh, crew, they heard that bomb drop. A lot of presence mid here. And keep an eye on Kesnitz ult. You see, he doesn't pop and takes a step back. Goes back towards B, but they've left Melzer. It's just a classic, and that's exactly what he needed. What? Just dropping like flies. It was NRG, and yeah, it was a half clear. Again, this is the problem with having a composition that doesn't have that much info utility. You have to face check, and now all of a sudden Melzer gets a freebie with a classic. Might get another one here. There's four members of crew. Oh my gosh! What a flash! What a setup, though. Song with three. Ethan with a big flash to set things up. But it's now Song crashes at her own. MTA has gotten behind him. There's a fox in the den, and they don't know. One, One drop, the second blow, and it connects. The Red Bull clutch for Cruz. Oh. 
but to have the self-control in that moment and to close it out the way that MTA just did. What a great performance. He might only have eight kills, 13 deaths, but those two kills were extremely impactful. This might be the cleanest Valorant we've ever seen, but man, is it a fight. So now you see Ender here back on this broken buy. They've got a rifle in the hands of Som. A little bit behind it. Ethan one away from his ult. Crash is one away from his ult. We've talked so many times about how pivotal that is to their game plan. Vic not able to find any space at all. So Som clears out the cam. Is that enough to manipulate a rotation back B? Yeah, it keeps three members towards B. So, so far so good. Make Melzer. Four. Yeah, Heat's yeah, on yeah. his way. Exactly. Melzer, he's going to be first contact here. But this is the spacing gap that I'm telling you about. Finesse has a frenzy, though. I mean, that's such a tough fight to win. That high-low will certainly secure things. The TP out from Som. They want to go back A. And so he will be the first to arrive on the scene. Ethan, what a shot on the Heat. 30 seconds left. Disgusting. Ethan's been so good all series long. Wait, he popped his ult. Hasn't it out? Crash, he's dead. No way through. They've invested into this. They pop a couple of big ults. Kesnick gets three, though. His crew get the round. Wow, NRG, I thought they were going to pull it off once more. But Kesnick had something to say about it. Afraid, but just not able to come out of that ultimate in time. Yeah, it's borderline impossible. So again, crew stay with an advantage. The paranoia up. Also feeling a lot of the heat as Victor goes aggressive, but he's met by two. Too many targets to look at. Didn't know which one to shoot at. That'll allow Crew to be up 5v4 in this round. And they're full rotating off of A site right now. I think one of the big differences from the first half up until the second was the fact that NRG were winning a lot of the first kills. Yeah, they were. It was on Crew to win, what? I think they won half of their 4v5s in the first half. But now, if they're the ones winning these first touches, the situation gets so much more difficult for NRG. Yeah, those first bloods have been a highlight of this split map so far for NRG. No this jump spot will give Melzer all the info needed to get ready and adjusted, What's anchoring that? this site. That was disgusting, huh? Hey, this is one of the last gun rounds. Dude, NRG have to execute here. They've invested in other ult. What's the follow-up, though? Can you find any space in? Som is dead. Crashies again. Called upon to clutch for NRG. Whoa. One found. Still much more work to be done. You hear the satchels popping, or at least the threat. Satchel out. Paranoia introduced. Crash, he's so concerned. He's gotten it down to one. Can he deliver? Seven bullets, 10 HP. Shy is playing his time beautifully, forcing Crash, he's his hand. And he's the one who delivers the death blow. Crew gets so long. And then his reaction afterwards, business like. Yep. All eyes forward. And yeah, NRG have rifles here. They have weaponry, but I mean, to have crashies is all in a situation like that. Uh, sure would be nice. That's aggressive. That's bold. They try to punish on a small timing and they can't. But they've drawn out the pit, which is really nice. Yeah, it's actually more than ideal for NRG, especially with all the space they've gathered. The only problem is there's nobody in actual A main. So. Or up ramps, Melsers. Yeah. He can punish here, he can punish, and punish really heavily. They've invested the secrets there. Melser getting the kill that I thought he would land. And he gets another. Disgusting. I mean, the finishing touches that crew are putting on this are gorgeous. It's, it's, it's so fast too, they peek, they get the kill, they get out. Honestly, even if NRG are dialed in on that, I don't even know if you can get a trade. A lot of the times, maybe you'll get a tag. But by the time these players on crew are getting that kill and getting out, it's just so insta. And now, you have to end B against a Cypher cam, a Cypher trip. They found my wife. 2 v 5 This is so left. hard. Cover going out. That Omen Smoke will make it obvious that this will be a B ending. I mean, if there weren't questions before, you're right. That will confirm things. This would be big. If Som could get it, gets his two, but the pit's still up. Shy still active. Crashy's still alive. Again, a 1v3. I believe he's had four tries at this so far. But this one, the most important. With how methodically crew have played this map, there's no reason to think it would go their way. 
steady and smooth brush strokes for Crew as they paint a gorgeous picture on split. Yeah, that was a disgusting defensive side performance from Crew. The attack was pretty good too. I think they ran into an NRG who had some really great setups on the defensive side. And when those setups work, man, they won flawless rounds. But it's just not enough, uh, not enough umph on the attacking side for NRG that was a big factor against this crew defense. That double duelist didn't really shine from the side of NRG. No, I think another thing we've got to quickly mention, yes, we talked about how the clutches didn't go the way of NRG. Crew won again half of their four